Hi everyone, welcome to WeDraw Studio. Today, we are going to talk about galena. So now let's get straight to it. Galena is the natural mineral form of lead sulfide and is the most important ore of lead. It can also contain significant amount of silver, making it an important mineral for both lead and silver extraction. The name galena derives from the Latin word galena, which means lead ore. The mineral has been known since ancient times, with evidence of its use dating back to at least 3000 BCE in Egypt and the Mediterranean region. Did you know that galena was ground into a fine powder to create coal, an eye cosmetic in ancient Egypt? It was applied around the eyes, not just for aesthetics, but also to protect against the sun's glare and infections. In ancient alchemy, lead was considered magical, and galena, as a lead ore, was thought to have mystical properties. Alchemists used galena in their experiments, believing they could transform lead into gold. Galena forms in diverse geological environments, including hydrothermal veins, sedimentary deposits, and in association with other sulfide minerals. It is often found with minerals like sphalerite, fluorite, and calcite, creating striking specimens with its metallic cubes surrounded by colorful crystals. Major deposits of galena are found worldwide, with significant mining operations in countries such as the United States, Australia, Canada, China, Peru, and Mexico. The town of Galena in Illinois, United States, was named after the mineral, as it was a major mining center during the 19th century. Galena has a distinctive lead-gray color, with a bright metallic luster. It typically forms in well-defined cubic crystals, though it can also occur in octahedral forms. Under certain conditions, galena crystals can develop an iridescent sheen. When exposed to air and moisture, they can form a thin film of oxidized lead compounds, which displays rainbow-like colors due to light interference. One of galena's defining characteristics is its high density, with a specific gravity of around 7.4 to 7.6. This makes galena feel significantly heavier than most other minerals of the same size. Despite its density, galena is relatively soft, ranking 2.5 on the Mohs scale of hardness. When streaked on a porcelain plate, galena leaves a lead-gray streak, consistent with its external color. Galena has been a crucial ore of lead. A significant portion of the lead extracted from galena is used to produce lead-acid batteries, which power automobiles, backup power systems, and renewable energy storage solutions. Lead from galena is often mixed with other metals to create alloys with specific properties. For example, lead tin solder is widely used in electronics and plumbing due to its low melting point and strong bonding capability. Galena-derived lead is excellent at absorbing radiation, making it ideal for protective shielding in medical facilities, nuclear power plants, and industrial radiography. In the early 20th century, galena was used in crystal radios as a detector mineral. A fine wire, or cat's whisker, was placed on the galena to pick up radio signals, making it one of the first semiconductor materials used in electronics. Some modern crystal enthusiasts consider galena a protective stone. It is believed that galena can promote peace, calmness, and spiritual transformation. While galena itself is generally safe to touch, the lead dust it contains can pose serious health and environmental risks if disturbed or processed, making the mineral both fascinating and potentially dangerous. Well, that's all for today, and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.